I think one of the other drivers, uh, you know, we've, we've had so many advances, John, in building science over the last 10 years. It's been really incredible. We, we really know how to build super insulated homes, right? Weather tight, water tight homes that don't mold, that aren't susceptible to invasion of water, you know, bugs, anything. Uh, but one of the things that we really need to do in these super insulated homes is make sure that there's proper ventilation in them as well. So the emergence of what we call energy recovery ventilation systems or heat recovery ventilation systems, HRVs or ERVs, in the United States has really had a profound effect on this part of the marketplace. So I was telling you before about the indoor air quality uh, monitor that we have in Weston. The reason why that's so successful is we have an excellent ERV that's constantly su uh, supplying the home with fresh air, uh, which it, from the outside environment is usually around 400 parts per million in terms of CO2, right? So if we're around that on the inside, we're no, we know that we're uh, uh, equaling the outdoor air quality, which is much better than indoor air quality in general in the United States. So energy recovery ventilation systems, proper ventilation systems at the residential level is really, really important.